Globally, periods are causing girls to be absent from school. A UNESCO report estimates that one in 10 girls in sub-Saharan Africa misses school during their menstrual cycle. By some estimates, this equals as much as 20% of a given school year. So, I sat with a couple of women and girls in this community to discuss period issues. I learned about the challenges, the inconveniences, and the many stigma associated with the time of the month. Do join me as I explore this very important topic. Let's say I bleed different. My name is Abimbola Ajala. Let's take this journey together. I'm 17 years old. I'm a student. My class is three. Okay. I started my first menstruation when I was 14. I was at home. It's like something like 8 o'clock. So I saw blood and I asked my mom that, what is this? My mom told me, <laughs> my mom said me that it's <laughs> menstruation. That I should not be afraid. So she now gave me a pad that I should use it. But I'm going to use it. I'm going to in fact, I joined most soon. My me, yami, ala, ala japani, mommy me. A man lost all jauku won't bail much. I mean, come more and little joy, more soon, more con jimu shiring, pay me and lomi, but I'm the marim de rege. Ah, he lay, lay, more fashion. In fact, what in call any school, but oh, but she bammy logic, and me expect a bed. More fashion, more fashion, more pack, I show him more cosabe bed, diva, more pinting. Go up by what's mommy, our day. Well, I cannot remember the month or the dates, but I can remember the year. It was in 1986. That day, in fact, it was a big shock to me because I never experienced it before and I never even see somebody that has been doing that before. So it was a big shock when I saw it. So I cannot even tell my mother. I keep it to myself until the thing dried off by himself for one good week. After then, it continues like that until she herself notices it. My first menstrual period was in 2016. I was 14 years old then. So then I wasn't staying with my mom. I stayed with my auntie at Ikotun. So like I'm the only girl there. So I'm this kind of girl. I'm only scared of stay, of um, staircase. So then all my siblings went to watch movie upstairs because then we were staying like three swimming videos. So I was the only one left downstairs. So I just saw something. I was like, ah, clearly. But I was not surprised because my friend do just me about it. So immediately I went to meet my mom at the shop. So I told her, 
So she just tell me not to worry. So she didn't even give me any pad. So because it was my first time, so it wasn't much like that. Sometimes I used to choose, sometimes I used pad. I do buy um than under Nera. So if I don't have the money to buy it, I will use tissue. Tissue is not convenient for us because um, you do shift sometimes, so it's kind of disgracing. The hundred naira one just has three pieces in it, and, those, and that thing is not enough, so most times I just manage it. I add tissue paper to it, like sometimes when I'm going out, I'll make use of the pad. So when I'm not going out, I'll just make use of the tissue paper when I'm around. I don't want to toilet pad wow, but it's not common like that. Oh, I need to me buy low ashore, king low tissue. So I show you, I try I show you, man jabo, I buy low ashore, I buy what pint, I ram me on free, but I buy low tissue. Hey, I ram me man wow, okay, dada. To say the truth, that time I used toilet tissue. I was using toilet tissue to pack it up. But at times when I don't have money to buy toilet tissue, I use pieces of clothes. I didn't use anything because it was my first time. It wasn't much. I just went did like that. Three other five days, I wasn't using any pad. I was just wearing pants. So and I can't ask my mom for pads because she won't give me money. So sometimes I use tissue. Sometimes I use pad. Like I don't go for the expensive one. I just go for the hundred naira one when I have it. And when I don't have it, I just use tissue paper. Mami man so pe e to ba ti o ma e mo awon iya yen to e pe won kawe di we don se ma advise eyin oya to send to kawe mami ba ma so pe ah iwo to ma te lokunrin kiri loro ma te lokunrin kiri tori to ba ti ri nkan osu en si tokunrin ba ti le sume lekan bayi oloyun ni yen o that's how ti mommy mi se ma advise pe to ba ti mo pe o ti ri nkan mo binrin e o ti di obinrin ni yen o so tokunrin ba se mistake to ba sumo e o ti loyun ni yen o so ko wa careful are o that's how town she advise me. But re me ye, unu wa call me pe ah. Ti ba tin ri pe boya ti nu ba n worry me. Ogun ti mo le lo. Ti ba ni feel any pain. Ogun ti mo le lo. Unu wa shala ye fun me. Then bi mo she le ma she toilet roll ye. Ti ba bi ma she car. Bi ma she lo. Inye lo wa learn me that that of me. Ah, ah, do it. I do tight. When I was using the tissue, I first of all wash wash out the blood, I will squeeze it very well. Then I throw it inside those beans. But when I started using the pieces of clothes, at the same time I wash the blood out, I put it inside nylon, I tie it. Because from the one I, I, I make friends with people that senior me. So they used to say such something, you don't expose it as that, or you don't let people to see it. So I would just wash out the blood, tie it, the, the, the pieces inside nylon, I'll take it to those beans and throw it away, just like that. I put my pad inside nylon and throw it inside our dustbin at home. Then, something like four o'clock in the morning, I take the dustbin out to the bus stop to dump it there. I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell anybody, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you, 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 I don't want to tell you anyhow. But when the fish shake, full of beer, it comes out beer. So by the time we take boy, you know, come back. Today I'm going to man soak it, soak me, so that when you use it, you go stand still. You go to the bottom of the bowl. So there, man, what care for me? Then die near. All the jail lay up in my fellow toilet. Ha! They take the two one. They say that one blood done there. I'm not going to use that one again. If I want, if I want to use another one, I go take a new one. If I use a facial, because this is plenty now. So at what point did you not tell Mama? Ah, <laughs> I did not for once tell her it's pregnancy that exposed me. <laughs> yes. So, nobody told you what to do. You were just figuring it out yourself. Um, all the time. And how convenient was that? It was not convenient because it's, it does not come my own. Always, it, it rushed as if you, you opened tap. So it was not convenient. It's only throughout those periods I make sure those my toilet roll and my pieces is always available for me to use. And while I use, I throw off. Anytime I use, I throw off. I don't use one twice. It's only the pieces I can wash. And even when I wash it, I dry it inside because we, the girls, we have our own room. 
there. So I dry it inside. When it dry, I now keep it where I'm supposed to keep it. I put camphor inside. That is how I used to do it. Have you ever missed um, school during that time of the month? Yes, I do miss school. Why? Because of if I'm purging a lot, so I will not want to go to school and be purging dead or be looking at what is wrong with me. So sometimes I do miss school. You purge when you're on your period? Yes. Sometimes when I'm on, I'm only sick. Like last week, I didn't really go to school like that. Like um, the last week, I when I was even at school, I actually was admitted to the sick bay because I was sick of it. So I didn't, I wasn't frequent in school last week. So when I'm done, I'll just tie it into a black lining and put it inside my dustbin. I'm, the dustbin we use is just sack bag, so I just put it inside. And sometimes, like I was taught at school that I should use the pad lie on to dispose it. So even when I still wrap it finished, I'll still throw it into the, inside the waste bin. Sometimes early in the morning or during the daytime, we just throw it, I'll just go down my street and throw it inside the water. Sometimes when I'm going to throw it inside the water, so if I, when I see some people around, I'll just trash it into the bush, like I'll just throw it in the bush, any bush. Sherry, I need to go to town, I need to go to town, I toilet. I want toilet, I want mold, I want shake, I want to go So, I want tissue, I want to go to the tissue. I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue. But I want to see what I'm doing, because the toilet, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue. I want to see what I'm doing, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue, I want to go to the tissue. So how are they uh, go toilets? Then they use then they use it. then they use nylon for inside bathroom. So they shoot a fish, they go put her inside that dustbin. If you feel it, go carry and go that place, go through one. For the that water. This video has exposed a number of issues plaguing a girl child in underserved communities. Issues like the need for proper menstrual education, access to good quality hygienic sanitary products, access to sanitation facilities which will help the girl child manage her menstruation in a safe, healthy environment. Some girls still feel very ashamed to talk about this, which means that period stigma is still a huge concern. A neglect of all these issues will mean that a lot of girls will miss out on school and miss out on the joy that education brings. They would also battle with their self-confidence. You can make a commitment to support us at Lendi and for Africa by going to our website www.laafrica.com. Let's build stronger communities together, one girl, one community at a time.